As we told you earlier in our newscast, David Bowie died overnight at the age of 69 after a private battle with cancer. Bowie shaped music, popular culture and fashion in a career that spanned five decades. Sue Mills has been gathering reaction from his many fans here in Ottawa and he joins me now. And Sue, what did people in Ottawa tell you about the man who, who felt Earth? Yeah, he played in Ottawa five times over 42 years. and. I knew there'd be people who had recollections of those concerts, but right. to find people who had really been affected by him personally, I thought that might be a little more challenging. In the end, Adrian, I found it wasn't difficult at all. Ziggy, played guitar. Ziggy Stardust's visit to Earth affected millions in the 1970s, bold, innovative and lasting, even for Ottawa fans who weren't yet born when David Bowie delivered his spiders from Mars. We listened to the whole discography of David Bowie. All morning. <laughs> Before most people were even awake, Baker's Sam Secord and Roxy Khan at Life of Pi were at work adding some of the musicians' magic to their baking. Well, we heard the news this morning and it made us really sad. Yeah, so, so we tried channeling our, our sadness into something sweet. In Ottawa, it was easy to find the fans who remember David Bowie, the performer, his dramatic, colorful live performances like this one at the Civic Centre in 1990. I love all his music, old, new. Dennis Rufo goes back further with Bowie and got closer. He wasn't that tall. He was, and I was sort of eye to eye with him. But he was so skinny, I always thought he was really tall, but he wasn't. Rufo was the rock promoter who brought Bowie to Ottawa twice. Today, he's happy to be able to share some of what he remembers of those golden years. I introduced him to my girlfriend and my daughter. I said, well, these are my daughters. And he sort of gave me a double take. And I said, no, I was just kidding, David. This is my girlfriend, this is my daughter. And he started to laugh. He said, well, you really got me, didn't you? <laughs> but ground control for David Bowie in Ottawa has got to be here. Rock Parisien's library is a shrine to the performer, and the music journalist has been up all night reflecting on how David Bowie ignited his passion for music, a passion that has carried him through four decades. And photographs Parisien took in Ottawa in 1978, guiding him like a star. The whole iconic shot of the... The light reflecting off the back of the head, almost like a halo, you know, in this pose where he's completely at peace, completely in control of the stage. Uh, it just sort of reflected uh, at that moment everything that, uh, that I felt about. I promised my wife I wouldn't do this. <laughs> Today, he's shattered. The important thing is to remember the life of Bowie. I mean, he left us such a great amount of work and it's something to celebrate. So um, you'll excuse me for being sad within the, last, within the next 24 hours, but I know I'm going to move from this and basically to a joy of the, uh, the uh, art that I've celebrated through his life, and that will continue to live on. Hmm. Some real emotion there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And anyone I spoke to today who'd had a chance to meet David Bowie all remarked on his congeniality. We think of him as such a rare and exotic performer, but he was a nice guy too, which is always such a bonus when a figure this large comes into your life. And he was such an inspiration, was he? Not just to musicians, but to artists of all kinds. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, creating a persona as an artist, he influenced generations after himself. Yeah, yeah. Sue, thanks so much. Thanks, Adrian.